This is a treat for you at home. For me, the first time I had it was in California with my cousin. Marissa made the most beautiful starter to a Spanish feast. And this was the first thing that we ate and I have never forgotten it. Changed it up slightly and I'm going to serve it in a, in a hot skillet so that it holds the heat just a little bit longer. But if you've heard of sort of a baked camembert and you love a hot cheese or a fondue, this is an alternative to a hot cheese sort of treat. We're going to be using manchego, which is a Spanish cheese. So I'm going to first of all melt some butter and some honey in our skillet. So this is going to become the sauce. So we've got some beautiful honey here. So I want to be able to have both of these creating sort of a dressing or a, a sauce. So we'll melt them together. And we all know how well <laughs> sweet and cheese goes together. And this is just that. I'm going to let that come together. And then as soon as it's sort of all one appearance, there's not a separation between the honey and the butter. I'm going to add some thyme and pepper in there to flavor, to further flavor that. And then we're gonna put the cheese in, baste it and serve. It really is as simple as that. So this is one you can sort of have your Maison Plus ready. And when your guests have arrived, make it and you've got an incredible starter in about a minute to two minutes. So we've got a nice sort of combination. We can see that the butter and the honey have become one. <laughs> so I'm gonna pop in our thyme leaves and a generous amount of pepper. All right, we'll give it another mix around. You can start to hear the thyme leaves crackle and pop. So they're releasing their oils and the sauce is really taking on that flavor. So I expect that the, the pointy end of our cheese is going to actually start to melt and become one with the sauce, but the top end is going, you're going to be able to pull that apart with either a, a knife or a fork or your cracker of choice. I'm gonna take that off the heat. There's plenty in there now. I'm not kidding when I say this is quite quick. So we're going to place one of our cheese blocks, two of our cheese blocks. I'm gonna baste it slightly and we can start to see it going see-through and flavoring that cheese. Serve our skillet hot. I'm just gonna tilt that slightly, get all of that flavor. And then we're ready to serve. It's as simple as that.